The piece that we're doing at this year's festival is called Las Soldaderas. It is based on an essay by Elena Poniatowska, a Mexican writer, very renowned Mexican writer, and it is about the role of women in the Mexican Revolution, which is something that hasn't been fully explored. And what we want to do is base our piece on her piece and bring it um, into a theatrical performance. Well, I'm adapting a, an essay written by Elena Poniatowska on the soldaderas, the women who fought in the Mexican Revolution, put up in a dramatic piece with um, a, lot of, a lot of visual images. The, the story of the Mexican Revolution is really, of the women more than anything, and the Mexican Revolution is told in pictures. That's really the only, the only documents we have of that time. So we're trying to adapt her essay to a very visual piece. You come and you see Feast and you see this ensemble, this multi-ethnic ensemble of teenagers performing together with respect and love, performing stories that come from each other's cultural traditions, religious traditions, community traditions, and I think in some ways it's a, a Feast is really an experience of a, of a kind of a model community, what I think we all would long to, to be a part of in our lives. My name is David Gauna and I played a role of a butcher named Hassan. He explains how his, he basically became like the main supporter of his family, you know, and how his brothers end up going to college and, you know, following their dreams and how he has great hopes for his own daughters to, to follow their dreams while he stays true to his family as a professional butcher. My first role is um, a story about my family and how my mom and dad fished when they were young to feed their family. Um, my friend Raul Rico, he plays me and I play my dad. Um, he talks about how, how um, I fish in the Philippines to feed my family when I was like eight years old. He, he does choreography on stage and he speaks, in, he speaks in English in the first part. I come from the audience and I speak in Tagalog, which is my language. Um, the role that I play of the Puerto Rican girl, uh, Mariana, her grandfather worked in the cane fields of Puerto Rico, and it's about how they were exploited, and you know, so he worked hard and they didn't really make profit, but um, he made a living by making moonshine and um, for his, well, not for his family, for the, his town, and you know, he got, he made a living. And it takes place in the north of Mexico in the state of Nuevo León. And it's about some expats coming back and seeing how their country has changed. It changes a lot in a, over a decade. The festival is very important for us to be here in Chicago because it, it really does allow us to um, continue to work on a new play. Um, getting such an uh, amazingly astute audience who's used to going to theater, who has opinions, who can we can get feedback from, and also bring in people who we know should be seeing it. Uh, in, that will be seeing it as it finishes and it finalizes and goes into full production, which we're going to be doing in, um, in uh, the spring of 2011. Um, it's really, really important to us to be able to get that feedback. And it, I feel that we have a real uh, trust with the community that sees the theater here in Chicago. And um, not that you wouldn't like it to be seen in Miami or somewhere else, but it, it just, it's really nice to be able to not only have um, people who've never seen us before, our peers, our colleagues. It's, it's really great to be able to put it right here in, in a space where everyone can come and see it in such a nice venue. We love participating in the Latino Theater Festival because it's an opportunity to perform alongside some of the other wonderful Latino theaters in Chicago and some of the great theater companies of this country and, uh, and the world. Uh, we also love coming down and performing at the Goodman because it's an opportunity to share our work with an audience that might not uh, otherwise find us up in Albany Park. This will mark our fifth time as part of the Latino Theater Festival. We were there at the beginning and we're here now. We hope to be there for many years to come. And it is a very exciting time for theater, not just for theater in Chicago, but for theater, I think, in the United States to be able to be a part of, of um, a gathering, not just of local and national theater companies, but also of international um, 
Latino theater companies and it's, it's a very exciting time.